Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about how to measure magnetic strengths. It's going to be a long discussion so I've split it into three parts. First, we're going to talk about the unit of measurement. Next, we'll use a Gauss meter. And last, if you don't have one, we'll use paper clips as a point of comparison in the last video. So, let's start. Every size and type of magnet has varying strengths. For starters, this 2 by one by one half can hypothetically hold 64 pounds with its lowest grade and 96 pounds with its maximum grade. If you want to go technical, the unit of measurement we use for magnetic strengths is Gauss. I know you guys prefer the measurement to be in terms of pull strength or how much weight a magnet can carry, but pull strengths vary according to the situation the magnet is in. There's a faster way to get an estimate, but it's based on the hypothetical scenario that 1. The Gauss being calculated is along the center axis of the magnet. 2. The magnet is in a vacuum of free space. And 3. The magnet is stuck to a steel plate or to another magnet. You can check it using the calculator by KJ Magnetics. I've posted the link below. The pull force might be 64 pounds using this calculator, but in reality, it's not. There are so many factors that contribute to this, such as the center of gravity of the object, the distance between the magnet and the object, uh, the orientation of the magnet, etc. etc. Going back to Gauss, regardless of the situation, the Gauss will remain the same. To simplify this, the manufacturers have standardized this into grades. For neodymium magnets, for instance, uh, grades for a single size of magnet can range from an N33 to N52, but grades don't just determine the strength. Another important characteristic to take note of is the working temperature. N33 to N52 is the N series, which means the magnet can get exposed to a temperature up to 80 degrees Celsius. If it goes beyond that, it loses its magnetization. We have the M series that supports a high working temperature. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius, the H series 120, SH, UH, EH, and AH. Okay, so that's all for now. In the next video, we'll be using Gauss meter to measure different magnets. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment below for your thoughts about this. Click on the subscribe button to be the first to know when we release a new video about magnets.